the cassava do and the corn do. We were at the machine shop because of the noise we couldn't speak out. But uh, we here we are at the returning kitchen now, trying to take you into details how to get your bankun prepared easily. Sure. The last time we did the granite soup and the comments coming making sense great. So what else can you enjoy farm nut soup with? Something like bankun? Uh, Mr. Kelly, and if you want to enjoy bankun, what are other things that you can use to enjoy bankun with? Bankun actually goes with everything. Okay. Everything stew, everything soup, everything pepper. Okay. Uh, most always love it with uh, how do you call it? Pepper and fried fish. Okay. Or tamo soup, gano soup, okra stew. Oh. But most anglers will rather take okra soup. Why okra soup with the bangkung? Yeah, they believe it goes so smoothly. Okay. 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 So now you are pour pouring in the. So, uh, the condo now. The condo now. Yeah. Okay. Which I'll just smash with it. It okay. does not okay. it because it's already smooth. Okay. But with the quantity, I can see the condo is much is more than the cassava do. Why? Yeah. Because of the starch level of the uh, cassava do. Okay. We don't use much of it. Okay. Yeah, see behind the bank. Can you tell us something? As my viewers would like to know if there is any history or something concerning the Banco. The only history I can say about Banco is uh, it's basically known for uh, a food that I always enjoy much. Okay. Because typically home, uh, away home. Okay. They can't spend a day without eating Banco. Oh, that's so great. That's every away home. Yes, Banco. Oh. But as of now, other parts of Ghana, other tribes are also enjoying it. So let's say it's now a daily food. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, what are the main ingredients? Ah, uh, the only ingredient you need to prepare banku is your water. Uh huh. Cassava dough and corn dough. Ah, uh, ca what? Can you tell us the difference between the cassava dough and the corn dough? Okay, for the cassava dough, it's made from cassava. Okay. Which is just mashed and stored for some time. For which one are you doing working with now? Okay, this is the cassava dough. This is the cassava dough. Yes, please. Okay. This is the cassava dough and. As you can see, I'm just trying to take the chaff out of it. Okay. Then to remain the smooth one. Okay. Which I'll use for the banku. Okay. That's it. If you want your banku to be very smooth. Oh, oh, okay. If you want it to be very smooth, smooth then you have to do this. You have to seed the cassava dough, yeah. take the particles out, okay. then you get it smooth. Sure. So after this, you are, you are going to do the corn dough to the same yeah, thing. No. After this, I'm just going to pour the corn dough inside directly and mash it up. Okay. Okay. Well, my lovely viewers, that is what you are seeing. Well, lovely viewers, this is the returning channel, the returning program. And once again today, uh, we are at the returning channel uh, to learn something different. Uh, today, what we have to do now is to teach our viewers how to prepare banku. Uh, banku is a very special food that uh most i think i can say in ghana here most of the tracks most of the tribes everybody enjoy banku so and as you can see from the first video or the, for the first view that you'll be seeing you see it's the corn i went there with the chef himself we bought the corn we saw the machine that machine is the one that they used to grind the corn and with that you get your corn do or your cassava do so today uh we are to take our viewers through how to prepare banku so this is the written channel my name is Apple Kutumen Sam AK247 and my guest here today I want him to listen himself to us then he will tell us what is actually going to happen now welcome Mr Kelly, uh, can you please say your name to my viewers, sir? Good evening, beautiful listeners and viewers. Um, Kelly Dominic by name. Uh, what about how you? Uh, you add water because okay. when you add more water, your banku becomes very soft, which okay. you might not enjoy eating. Okay. Yeah, it should be somehow soft, uh, somehow hard. Okay. Yeah, so that you can easily eat it with soup or stew. Okay. That is the returning. 
channel today we are watching how to prepare banku and as you can see chef Kerry is taking us through and it's, uh, i think it's a very nice processing i can see my viewers are taking a very serious lesson here uh and one thing i think mr kelly well uh this is the returning channel sure. and this channel is now doing well on youtube now mm -hmm. so in case our viewers somebody try visit ghana somebody come to ghana because it's a returning channel and you need access apart from banku what sort of food else can you prepare yourself as a chef uh, a whole lot when it comes to Ghana, uh, dishes in Ghana, I can look at dishes, look okay. Dishes, I can cook almost everything. Wow, almost everything. Yeah, wow, almost everything. so in case somebody wants to contact you, uh, the person need training or you need assistance uh, concerning local food, I uh, will you be available uh, to, to give out your. Uh, effort to support or to assist someone especially our retainees because i am for here now very sure that these people will love this video quantity of kawado okay but i use more of condo uh, oh. but it's a choice some people use uh both the kawado and the condo equally okay so it's a choice what you want okay yeah. but is it possible also that you can make Ah, uh, the cassava do more than the condo also. Yeah, if you want. Is that also called banku yeah, or? Yeah, it's also called banku. Oh. It all depends on you. Okay. Yeah. Some okay. people love the starch. Some don't love the starch. Okay. Yeah. So those who like the starch are those who make which and which more. The, those who love the starch will just have to use more of uh, cassava do. Okay. A little bit of condo. Condo. Okay. And if you love the uh, the other way around, you okay. just have to use it. Condo more. Okay. Okay. As you can see, we are using more of condo over here, and it's still going to make it good. Okay. That's great. Well, we are watching the retaining channel. Uh, this is the retaining kitchen, and uh, as you can see today, we are on banku preparing. Uh, we are learning how to prepare banku, and as we can hear from the chef. Uh, you have already missed the two ingredients that is the cassava dough and the corn dough and uh, it's at, at, so at, what is the next stage i can see something like a salt around yeah the next stage is you have to put a little bit of salt in it okay to make it more tasty oh okay which is made of control, same kotomi but in a different way i can still fish potom potom which is made of yeah. wow okay. so any kind of local dishes that you want just name them Wow, oh, that, that, this is so interesting. Uh, so, in case uh, our my viewers or the returnee find yourself here in Ghana and when it comes in terms of local dishes and they need a support or assistance, you will be available. I think at the end of the day, you, you share your contact to my viewers. Uh, and uh, what, as, as, a, as a Ghanaian, as a, a chef, uh, like, what do you think about the returnees? What do you think or uh, about the retainees? It's very very important for our retainees to come back home because it's said in uh, our local dialect that you can't use your left hand to point your home where you come from because that's where you come from. No matter what you do, you still come back from where you, you, you belong. So coming back home is a very good thing and coming back to our local life is very very important because around the day this is who we are. So I advise every retainee to come back home and please try to subscribe to our channel because this is the right source we are not going to do anything illegal with you everything is legal here and we registered so if you want peace whilst you are returning back home please try to subscribe to our channel and contact us everything will be okay with you welcome back home in advance thank you that's lovely that's I can see some metals here. Uh, what is the use of these metals? As okay, these metals, uh, uh, we call it banku, uh, banku, banku steer, oh. whatever we call it. Actually, it's just used to 
make the okay the to okay to hold to hold the bamboo the pot, down okay, on the pot so that okay. it won't be shaking. Oh, that's interesting. That's, interesting. that's the only thing. That's uh, interesting. So that it will help you cook the bamboo okay, very well. Okay. Okay. Along the line, you see the way I use it, and you, okay. you understand me more. That's very interesting. So the bamboo is on fire, and as you said, Mr. Kerry said, bamboo can be enjoyed with any soup or stew. Sure. Uh, I learned some people used to grind pepper, uh, fried fish, or sometimes other like smoked fish or something and enjoy with it. Sure. Uh, how does that go? You know, you know, with bamboo, uh, with pepper, it's very easy because you just need your tomato, your pepper, your onion. A little bit of salt after grinding them together, you just add the fish. You can enjoy with your bamboo. Wow, you don't have to go through the straight of preparing soup. It's one of the easiest way to eat your bamboo. This is interesting, you know. I, uh, uh, how long does it take for the bamboo to be full prepared or to full done? Let's say 20 minutes, less than 30 minutes. It should be ready. Wow, uh, wow, that is interesting. Uh, uh please, me, uh, Chef Kelly, tell us. Yes, as I'm telling you, my name is Alfred Kojo Mensa, aka 247. I'm here with my chef, uh, Papa Kelly, uh, who is actually trying to take us through this lovely process of how to stir Banku. And I think uh, myself, I'm having very great education here today. This is interesting. And what he said is he gave us the Banku ingredient. Uh, it was the condo, the cassava dough. They mix it and they add a little salt and they put it on fire. And now, as you can see, he said immediately put it on fire, you start stirring it. So now we are still waiting for the banku to get done and we'll see how it tastes. But according to him, the banku can go with anything stew or soup. So if you have the granite soup, the pan soup, if you have the uh, okra stew, the okra soup, anything soup or stew go with banku. So let's see how everything is going now. I am Alfred Kujo Mensam, aka247. And today our guest is Mr. Kelly, who is telling us it's available to deliver a, a service to anyone who is interested to learn how to cook local dishes, especially the retainers. And he's going to give his contact out. So in case you find yourself right here in GH and you need an assistant. Uh, very nice it. to see myself. I'm having my own education. As I've seen the ingredients, I've seen how the stealing or the stealing mm. is going. It's more than driving or riding. <laughs> the written internet is always bringing you very interesting things, very educational stuff, very good interviews, lovely athletes. We bring you the hottest videos, videos that can benefit you uh, to do a lot. And today we are right here at the Returning Channel on the Returning Kitchen, at the Returning Kitchen, learning how to prepare Banku. And I think it's very interesting video. Our viewers are definitely going to get serious education about how to prepare Banku. Let's see what Mr. Kerry, the chef, is doing. Actually, now uh, our condo and cassava do is gradually turning into a Banku. Okay. That's how it can be. You see it now formed. Uh, in a cake form, okay. Because now see it's that it's getting prepared, okay. So we are still going to cover it, okay, for the heat to catch it more that it to be cooked well, okay. Yes, we have to cover it. That's the next thing. That's the next thing, yeah. okay. So Definitely, this look very lovely, and as you can see, the banku is still on fire. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Kelly is doing its best uh, for our viewers to see how it goes. This look very interesting and very nice. And Wow, lovely viewers, 
as I'm telling you. My name is Alfred Kodumensa, aka 247. And this is the retaining channel. And today we are doing the retaining kitchen. Uh, we'll be bringing you most of these videos, uh, teaching our viewers how to prepare local dishes because I know it's very important for them. Soon they will find yourself here in the country and this will be part of their daily activities. So we are here today to and Banku is one special food that anytime you visit Ghana for the first time you definitely get to know Banku. can see our bamboo is almost done and we just have to cover it for a bit then we can take it off the fire uh, say it again Mr. Kelly I mean our banku is almost done okay at this juncture, we just have to cover it a bit. Okay. Then for after five minutes, we just have to dish it out. Okay. Because it's, it's ready. So the banku is ready now. Yeah. That's very interesting. Lovely viewers, as I'm telling you, my name is Alfred Kudominsa, aka 247. And today, our section is on the Lieutenant's kitchen. And that is what you are seeing. We went. Home don't believe in that. So, you should believe anybody can cook. Oh, yeah. then that is very interesting. Yeah. And uh, I'm not. Uh, are you? Are you married? I'm not married. Oh, you, you are not married. Yeah. You are a single man uh, doing your own thing. Sure. Oh, with, uh, well, uh, I think this is a very nice uh, to know. Uh, so, in case I can say, in case uh, you have the chance. Uh, uh, to be invited to a restaurant actually uh, as a local restaurant uh, would you be able to direct uh, the workers uh, how to cook different types of food definitely definitely I should be able to do that because uh, it's something that is part of me let's say cooking should be my hobby because I always cook. I, I I don't buy food myself. I hardly buy food. So you don't buy food outside. No, I don't buy you, food outside. You I always cook. Cook. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, that so is I very. I can always teach somebody or direct somebody to cook. Oh, that is very lovely because you made mention of different types of dishes that you think you can uh, run out to our viewers, and I think yeah, uh, it's an opportunity for our viewers to know your contact uh, so that when any time they find yourself here in Ghana and they are into that category of needing help for local dishes i think you'll be available uh, to support our viewers <laughs> 